during the last several years, we've been seizing hundreds of pounds of methamphetamine, hundreds. In the Wabash Valley, as overdose deaths keep opioids in the headlines, methamphetamine continues to keep a tight grasp on communities. Meth's chemical makeup has evolved with its demand over the years, creating a supply of highly potent crystal meth. So once that hit, uh, in the Southern District of Indiana, uh, methamphetamine took over as the drug of choice. Uh, more than cocaine, more than marijuana, more than crack cocaine, more than heroin, methamphetamine became the drug. As drug task forces work to keep meth off the streets, addicts fight their own battle against the drug. I was homeless, helpless, I was hungry, I was broke. I was just like defeated, completely defeated. And they're fighting to remove the cycle of addiction from other lives. I just try to like help others, like point them in the right direction as far as um, making that first call. Tune in to WTWO today on February 13th at 6 a.m. to hear the full story on Meth in the Valley and on our website, mywabashvalley.com. Sometimes we do things. I was in my probably late 30s before I really even started messing with it. And don't truly think about the consequences. I, I just spiraled, just couldn't, couldn't keep a, a house. I lived out of my car for a long time. Or nowhere to turn for help. At the end of the day, it, you started thinking, well, it's just easier to get high and to be here than it is to go get help and then life explodes a bit. Next thing I knew, there was about 15 federal agents in my home. There's only two roads to go down. You're either gonna go to prison or you're gonna be dead, and thank God, thank God, God chose me to go to, to, go to prison. And then you learn to make new choices and take back control of life. I just wake up every day and I just know that I have certain goals that I have to obtain. And then once you overcome, you help others become overcomers as well. When I'm on Facebook and people that I know that are clean and they're celebrating their third or fourth anniversary clean or six months or a year, I always post and tell them, you know, congratulations, I'm so proud of you because it is something to be proud of. Join us Thursday, February 13th at 6 p.m. We'll meet two inspiring women who once had meth addictions, the prices they paid for that, and how they overcame, only on WTWO.